News out of the Middle East. Hezbollah has confirmed its leader, Hassan Nasrallah, was killed in a massive Israeli strike in Beirut on Friday. Israel says the strike targeted the Hezbollah leadership meeting at their headquarters in an underground bunker. Jeff Semple joins us now with more from Tel Aviv. Jeff, what's the reaction been there to the news of the Hezbollah leader's death? Yeah, we are seeing a real wave of reaction washing right across the Middle East. Uh, and perhaps no surprise, it is hard to overstate what a huge blow uh, Nasrallah's death is to the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah, which he has led since 1992, after his predecessor was also killed by an Israeli strike. Uh, the 64-year-old Nasrallah was seen by his supporters in Hezbollah as a kind of father figure. He was revered, one of the best known, most influential figures in all of the Middle East, uh, who played a key role in transforming Hezbollah from a militia into a absolute power player in this region, both politically and militarily, a stronger military than the Leb than Lebanon's own army. And uh, Hezbollah and Nasrallah were also a key part of Iran's influence right across this region. Um, under Nasrallah's leadership, Hezbollah also trained fighters for Hamas, as well as militias in Iraq and Yemen to launch attacks on Israel. So it's perhaps no surprise then, of course, that many Israelis uh, appear to be in, in an almost celebratory mood in response to the news of his death, notwithstanding the fact, of course, that the, this country is still under attack and is still trying to rescue more than 100 Israeli hostages being held in Gaza. We are seeing celebrations on the streets in Syria, in rebel-held areas like Idlib. Of course, Nasrallah, Hezbollah were a key ally of Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad. Elsewhere in Lebanon and parts of Lebanon, as well as Iran, we are seeing mourning, people taking to the streets, firing guns in the air. And in Lebanon, uh, from what we're hearing and seeing, there is a real sense of panic. We are seeing long lineups at grocery stores, people buying water at ATMs, getting cash out. Um, and uh, the Lebanese government has called an emergency meeting for this evening to discuss the situation, reflecting the fact that there are real concerns about what could come next. Wow, okay, so what does this mean for the conflict with Israel? Well, uh, certainly showing no signs of abating as a result of this. If anything, the airstrikes back and forth have been intensifying between Hezbollah and Israel all night and into this morning. We heard a comment from Israel's chief of staff saying that the elimination of Nezrallah was, quote, not the end of our toolbox, suggesting that there are many more strikes still to come. Uh, Hezbollah released a statement of its own, not only confirming news of his death, uh, but uh, they also, they didn't mention who his successor would be, nor did they say how they would respond to his assassination. Uh, but in the statement, Hezbollah did note that it plans to continue its fight against Israel in support of Gaza, Palestine, and the defense of the Lebanese people. One key reaction that we are looking Looking for here, perhaps the most consequential is from Iran. As I mentioned, Nasrallah was a key piece of Iran's influence in this region. He had a deep relationship there. Uh, the fact that he is gone uh, creates a massive void for Iran's power in the in this region. Um, and so, uh, you know, in terms of the conflict itself, Iran thus far has been resisting pressure to launch a direct attack on Israel in response to the events of the past few days. But that is something certainly a lot of people here are worried about now. Okay, Jeff, thank you for this update.